what's up everyone? This is Mike Dowdy. I'm here with Trevor Hansen, both of us from the WIG channel, and we are excited to bring a new video to you guys today. We're gonna talk today about boat etiquette 101. There's a lot of do's and a lot of don'ts, and we're gonna try to add some humor and uh, dial in what you do and don't do on the boat. Let's get into it. Yo. Yeah. What's up, Trev? How are you? Got my stuff. Dude, what is all that? That's all my stuff. I got one more trip to the car and then we'll be good. Can you load this in for me? When you're going out on the lake for the day and you're going out on someone else's boat, there's a bunch of things that you want to consider. And one is make sure that you don't bring way too much gear. Um, go ahead and talk to the boat owner, find out if they've got a cooler packed, um, what gear they've got, if they have the same board or the same surfboard or something like that that you can use. Um, if you don't need it, there's only a limited amount of space on the boat, so try not to bring too much stuff. Cool if I take two sets. Is it cool if I grab gas after? Dude, you've been riding for an hour. All right, so one of the biggest things you guys will need to consider when going out on a boat with your friends or family is how much gas to bring for that person. You know, they're taking you out on the boat, you're gonna have a good time. They're allowing you to bring all your gear, all your family, everything like that. So think about the gas and be mindful of how much gas you're gonna be burning uh, so you don't leave the boat owner high and dry. No one wants to be left with someone else's gas bill. So make sure that you're paying attention to how much gas you're bringing. Be mindful of the activities that you're doing so that you make sure that you go above and beyond to provide gas for the boat owner. So when you're headed out on the lake for the entire day, obviously you're gonna to wanna to bring some food out there. Um, be mindful of what that food is. Uh, try not to, Cheetos are like a super popular thing, but man, they can really tear an interior up. So be, uh, be cognizant of what kind of snack you're bringing. Make sure it's not too crummy. Um, a lot of trash uh, gets in the boat and really uh, causes a pain for the boat owner. Uh, same thing goes with drinks. Uh, make sure that if you've got a liquid, um, stick with something that's uh, not gonna stain if it spills. The boat owner will be a lot happier. What's happening, Cody? How are you? Oh man, just take your oh, take your shoes. Oh. All right, so one of the biggest do not do's when you're going out on someone else's boat or even your boat is keeping your shoes on in the boat. Your shoes are obviously gonna have tons of dirt, mud, sand on them, so make sure when you're going into someone's boat that you're taking your shoes off, leaving them at the dock. If you're concerned about temperature, your feet are gonna get cold. Plan for that with socks, plan for that with a towel, but ultimately make sure to leave the shoes at the dock. Trev, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Cody, I forgot to put my rope up. Can you help me out? Cody. 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 Huh? I forgot, I forgot to put my rope up. Can you help me out? Hold on. I'm about to finish this wake tail video, and then I'll put it up. Later, Trev. Thanks for the freaking help, Cody. You forgot your snacks. All right, so the final thing you wanna make sure you're doing when you're out with friends or family out on the boat is to make sure that you go above and beyond to be helpful. Absolutely, help with the ropes, help clean at the end of the day. There's nothing more annoying as a boat owner than when everyone just leaves at the end of the day and leaves you to clean the boat after, uh, after you've been out all day. So those are some do's and do nots. That was super fun. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have fun out there. See you on the water.